Welcome back, my friends, to 4M. That's Make Every Minute Matter Monday, of course. I love spending a little bit of time with you to hopefully encourage you and get you started on your week so that you can be all that you were created to be and help make all your dreams come true. That's, you know, why we're all here, right? To make a difference in the world? Well, how do we do it? Today we're going to talk a little bit about dependability. How dependable are you? Success Magazine says one of the key traits that companies are looking for in order to promote people is their dependability factor. You know, I've got a story to share with you again. We all know Christopher Reeves. In 1995, Christopher Reeves was truly at the top of his game. He was Superman. He had completed 17 movies, 150 plays. He was married to Dana and had three beautiful children and truly living the life. Everything seemed perfect for this guy, until that horrible horseback riding accident that left him paralyzed. You know, at some point, he mentioned to his wife, if I can't do anything for myself, I might as well just die. But his wife Dana said, as long as you're breathing, I love you, and I want you to be here as long as you can possibly be here, and I'll be here for you. That was the true essence of dependability. You know, Dana had been there in good times, and now it was her turn to be there in bad. Christopher couldn't do anything for himself. Either Dana or someone else had to do even the simplest tasks for Christopher. But she proved her dependability. I've got three tips for you to help your dependability. Number one, check your motives. You know, if you write down your goals, and you look, write them on a piece of paper, and say, who benefits from these goals? Are you focused on yourself? Or are you focused on your family, your friend, or the team, the organization that you're working for? That's checking your motives. Number two, discover what your word is worth. You know, ask people. When you say you're going to do something, do you do it? Take a little survey of the folks in your office and find out. You know, many times things change. And if you can't live up to your word, the very least that you can do is go to that person and say, Hey John, hey Sally, I know we talked about doing this and I was going to do that today, but the circumstances changed and now I can't do it. It's the same with your kids. You want to be dependable and you want to really find out what your word means. And you want your word to be the most valuable thing that you can offer someone. Number three, develop sound thinking. You know, what does that mean? I've got another quick little story for you. It's a true story. There was a reporter once who went on an assignment to cover a sporting event. They came back from the sporting event to the office and told their editor there wasn't going to be a story today on the sporting event. The editor said, no way, why not? And the reporter said, well, the stadium collapsed, so there wasn't a game. The editor said, where's the story on the stadium collapsed? Can you write that story? And the reporter said, oh, no, you didn't assign me that story. That's not very good thinking. Sound thinking allows you to deal with whatever circumstance comes your way. If you want to be a dependable person, if you want to prove yourself to be that go-to person, the person that every company wants, then remember these three things and work on them this week. Check your motives, discover what your word is worth, and develop sound thinking. Those are three tips that can help you get to the top and be all that you were created to be. You know, I would love to hear your story, so why don't you leave me a message on Facebook and let me know who you describe as the most dependable person in your life. We can encourage each other this way, okay? Until next time, remember, make every minute matter.